गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सेवरल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन वेक्टर स्पेस बट दे वर स्पेसिफिक टूडे वी विल डिस्कस मोर एग्जाम्पल्स बट इन डिफरेंट वे लेट एस कंसिडर Everybody knows the word polynomial. If I write two x square minus three x plus five, then this is an expression. Hindi में इसको व्यंजक बोलते हैं व्यंजन नहीं व्यंजन का मतलब मिठाई होता है सो दिस इज एन एक्सप्रेशन बट दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज इन स्पेसिफिक वे हियर द पावर ऑफ द वेरिएबल दैट इज एक्स इज पॉजिटिव इंटीजर दैट मीन्स नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर मे बी जीरो ऑल्सो हाइएस्ट द पावर ऑफ दिस वेरिएबल इज टू सो this is a polynomial of degree 2 look at the coefficients 2 minus 3 and 5 these are real numbers here yeah. so this is the expression but it is a special type of expression this type of expression in which we find the power of the variable single not in multiplication not two variable single variable here it is x so this type of expression in which we find the power of the variable we always non negative integer non negative integer means 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on highest power is 2 this is called the degree so this one is polynomial of degree 2 if i write 2x minus 3 this is polynomial of degree 1 if i write A particular constant five. This can be written as. Then this is polynomial of degree zero. But if I write zero, this is written as. this is the polynomial whose degree is not defined be it remember polynomial of degree 1 is the constant is 2 this should not be equal to 0 be careful this is the polynomial of degree 2 here it is then this is not equal to 0 but if i write this one this is really written as this so here you can write any power 0 1 2 3 any means the non negative so here you can write 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 that means the answer is not fixed in determinant so its degree is not defined okay
is 2x plus 1 upon x a polynomial no why because it is 2x plus x to the power minus 1 a power is this negative index this is an expression this is not a polygon okay so a polynomial of degree n of fixed non negative integer a polynomial of degree n what is degree n what is n here a fixed non negative non negative means A polynomial of degree n is an expression of type polynomial of degree n what is n a fixed non negative integer what do you mean by non negative integer 0 1 2 3 4 a is an expression this is the expression so power of the variable must be like this this is the leading coefficient and it is not equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 then we will have this type of expression so, this type of expression is known as polynomial of degree n. Here, with real coefficients, that means belongs to R. If I write and what is the highest power of x is 3, so degree is 3. Okay. 
this type of situation you have found in lower classes so it is so simple everybody knows so if you find this type of expression then this expression is known as polynomial how to define the degree of the polynomial i have explained it suppose look at the symbol capital p suppose p n be the set of all polynomials of degree n or less this is very important or in other words suppose be the set of all polynomials of degree at most n at most n means less than or equal to n okay आपको ध्यान होना चाहिए कि मैं धीरे धीरे किसके तरफ जा रहा हूं मैंने पहले पॉलोमिल वर्ड डिफाइन किया कि पॉलोमिल क्या होता है उसके बाद उन पॉलिनोमिल्स का मैंने सेट बनाया है अब उस सेट में ऑपरेशंस डिफाइन करूंगा और उन ऑपरेशंस की हेल्प से मैं प्रॉपर्टीज देखूंगा यदि वो वैक्टर स्पेस की दस प्रॉपर्टीज को सेटिस्फाई करता है तो ये जो सेट है वो वेक्टर स्पेस होगा सो फर्स्ट यू थिंक विच टाइप ऑफ सेट इज गिवन व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ द गिवन सेट एंड आल्सो लुक एट द ऑपरेशंस डिफाइंड ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर सेट सो लेट अस से this be the set of all polynomials of degree n or less suppose pn be the set of all polynomials of degree at most n here n is non negative integer be careful so if i write P two. Then, what is the meaning of this set of all polynomials of degree two or less? That means. this may include this this may include this may include
सपोज P2 is set of polynomials of degree 2 or less. Remember, I have not included 0. Because if I write 0, then 0 that is the polynomial whose degree is not defined. And here I am writing set of all polynomials of degree 2 or less. So what is the degree of this? One. What is the degree of this? One. What is the degree of this? Two. What is the degree of five constant of five other than zero? That is zero. That's the power zero. Minus three by two, pure constant other than zero. So its degree is zero. So P2, maybe some more examples here. So in general, I can write P2 equals to this is a a0 plus a1x plus a2x is called such that a a1 a2 belongs to R If this is 0, you will find this. If this one is 0, again you find this. If both are 0, then you find this. Okay, so it is this type of situation. Members of this set be the polynomials of degree 2 or less. If we consider any two members and we define addition as to add the coefficient of like terms. I mean to say let's px equals to 2 minus 3x. And Qx is this. For example. Then how to define the sum? There is no term involving x score that means the coefficient of x score is 0 so I write 1 plus 0 into x square minus 3 plus 5 into x it is like this. The meaning of this one we add add the coefficients of like terms. This is the meaning. This addition is defined and this addition is the standard addition. This addition is the regular natural how to add two polynomials. B people are doing this type of addition from lower classes. So this is the natural addition we are getting. If we find the answer, then we find it is x squared plus 2x plus 7. This is the polynomial of degree 2 and this is a member of this. Instead of this one, if I write
suppose here i took polynomial of degree 2 polynomial of degree 1 because this is a set of polynomials of degree 2 or less i can consider this also so if you are find the sum then you know the answer it will be 7 this is the polynomial of degree z because x7 can be written as 7 into x power z so this is the member of this particular one so if we add two polynomials like this then the answer is the member of this again that means it is closed with respect to the addition now one thing is to be noted here if i fix this number that means if i say p2 set of polynomials of degree 2 on the fixed be careful previously it is degree 2 or less here it is 2 only fixed I can consider one member is this other member is this and if we add these two the answer is this then this is not the member of this because this is the polynomial of degree 0 and this is the set of polynomials of degree 2 only that means this is not the member of this one so addition is not closed that's why we people write this is the set of polynomials of degree 2 or less so that the closure property holds okay so let us see be the set of all polynomials of degree n or less. Find the operations addition and scalar multiplication as well.
ओके पॉलिमिल ऑफ डिग्री एन और लेस सो दिस एंड दिस दिस मीन्स दिस वन एंड दिस मीन्स दिस वन विद द मेंबर्स ऑफ दिस दिस ऑपरेशन वी आर डिफाइन बाय दिस व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस एज यूजुअल दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड एडिशन ऑफ टू स्टैंडर्ड एडिशन of two polynomials means we add the coefficients of like terms so we find this is a0 e0 e0 plus a1 plus b1 plus sum of two real numbers is again a real number let's suppose this is c0 c1 C to the x is one. This is C n plus four n, where C naught is A naught plus B naught. And we find this is the member of P. E. So this is the set of all polynomials of degree this. addition is defined like this let's k belongs to r any real numbers then scalar multiplication it is as usual as we did in previous class how to multiply an expression by a constant we multiply each term by that particular constant so here it is it will be k times this is k e2 and this is the member of these two operations are is tender addition and is tender is killer multiplication i have used the word standard instead of the word standard you can use the word regular or natural standard regular or natural natural addition regular addition that means we people are doing from kg h kg class 1 2 3 4 5 5 how to add this just like addition of two uh, uh, real numbers is again a real number so you find here if we consider this type of addition and scalar multiplication then these operations are called regular operations just like in matrix addition we add the respective members standard addition how to multiply a matrix by a number each member will be multiplied by that similarly in terms of r square that means ordered pair triplet and tuple also these operations are standard or regular and we have proved them as a vector space here we will also prove this one is a vector space with these standard operations but it is not compulsory if the standard operation is not given 
then some other operations will be given and in that you have to verify properly so be careful sometimes in competitive examination operation is given straight forward so you just remember if the operations be standard one and according to that we have done so these are the standard examples this is a vector space here it is just like this one now all right remember in this set 0 is not included that is the zero polynomial it is not included because if i consider zero then its degree is not defined so all right verify v equals is a vector space where zero is the zero polynomial because without this the identity will be absent so verify v is a set of this means what is pn polynomial of degree n and less i have already defined all the polynomials 5 3 4 constant but you remember the constant other than 0 is a polynomial of degree 0 degree 0 i am saying if zero then degree is not defined it is not to be determined so here it is included k is a scalar it's a real number so how to multiply this so instead of k if i consider minus one then minus will be multiplied by this so if i add p of x with minus of p of x and what will be minus of px all these terms will be negative and if we add all these then the terms will be cancelled and the answer is zero so here this zero is included if this is not included then identity does not exist this will be the inverse of this other properties be as usual so this is the standard example you find this is very important what is the meaning of this one and this and how to simplify so now a polynomial whose degree is n or less included with zero polynomial will be a vector space with respect to standard addition and scalar multiplication okay we have already discussed the examples in which we found non standard addition and non standard scalar multiplication today one more example i would like to discuss
let V a set of okay, numbers. V itself is R. This is the set of real numbers. Define Remember V equals to R filled means this is V filled you have to assume if it is not given then it is set of real numbers so here filled is also R that means Field is R. V is also R. Means the elements of V are called vectors, and here vectors are also a real number. Means scalars are real numbers, and vectors are real numbers. Both are identical. So that's why here you see this means. This is the real number, this is the real number. What is internal operation? Here, this means R cross R to R. This one, F cross R to R, but F equals to R. Therefore, this is also R cross R to R. So this is ordinary addition. This is ordinary multiplication. Add two real numbers, answer is a real number. Multiply two real numbers, answer is a real number. Okay, so it is this type of situation. So if V equals to R set of real numbers, and if we define like this, then all the properties of vector space will be satisfied. It means R is a Vector space over R. That means is a vector space. One thing is to be noted here. Every field is 
subfield of itself. Every field is subfield of itself. It means R is a vector space over its subfield R. Q, the set of rational numbers, is a set of R. This is subset of this, and this itself is a field, so this is subfield. This is field. So you can prove R of Q is a vector space. Okay? Set of complex number. Set of real numbers. Set of rhythm numbers. R of R, R of Q. C of Q of Q. C of R, C of Q, and C of C. This is the subfield of this, subfield of this, subfield of this, because every field is the subfield of this. This is the subfield of this, this is the subfield of this, this is the subfield of this. So all are vector spaces. With respect to regular addition and scalar multiplication. Okay. is not a perfect space since R is not a subset of Q. Therefore, this is not a subset of Q. Or Scalar multiplication is felt. Let's root two belongs to R and three by two belongs to three. 
then root 2 is scalar multiplication. This is the ordinary multiplication, the standard one, so it is root 2 3 by 2 and this is 3 upon root 2. This does not matter. There are several examples, several counter examples you can see. So this is not a vector space. You can see R is not a subset of this, or you can say this is not a subfield of this one because it is not a subset of this. So it is like this. But you remember all our vector spaces with respect to regular addition and scalar multiplication, standard addition and standard scalar multiplication. So, B equals to R, B R square, B R cubed. In general, equilibrium space. Species with respect to extender addition and scalar. This is set of real numbers so addition of two real numbers as well as to multiply one real number by another real number r square you will find this is set of ordered pairs how to add two ordered pairs the standard addition we add component wise component means first component to first second to second if it is like this First to first, second to second, third to third. How to multiply this by number? Each member will be multiplied. So these operations are regular operations or distant ones. So all are vector spaces. In the similar manner, we matrices of order n by n with real elements. This is also a vector space. With respect to standard addition and standard scalar multiplication. Standard means how to add two matrices. We people know that. Component wise. Component wise. And is killer multiplication. It is just like this component wise addition and component wise is killer multiplication. These are the standard regular operations. So you find it is 2 by 2 any order you can consider but you remember this is matrices of order of this the real entries and the operations must be standard then we can say yes if the operation is not standard then the given set is not necessary of vector space we have done all types of examples but I would like to discuss one more example here.
Suppose V equals to R set of real numbers. Define Spender is scalar multi sum. We have just discussed, but this is not the standard one. Standard means just to add two real numbers. A is a real number, B is a real number. It is not A plus B. It is two times of this and two times of this. A is a real number. Multiplied by 2, again it is a real number. Again it is a real number. Sum of 2 real numbers just like this is closed. This is also closed. as this one. But what about the other properties? Suppose I say commutative property. Then you say it is this. I can write. Then this. Yes, it is commutative. Commutative. If I consider associative property, then it is two A plus two B. By definition, then this is multiplied by 2, this is multiplied by, so it is 4a plus 4b plus 2c. Also, if I consider the other part of this, then what will happen? 2b plus 2c by definition. Then this is 2a plus 4b plus 4c. Fine. Therefore, this is not associated. This is not associated. So this is not a vector space. Not a vector space. Now you try yourself giving you one question. Let B equals to R and define. B equals to this. This is the addition. You see, this is not the ordinary addition. A definition has been changed. This is as usual scalar multiplication. So you just verify is it a vector space or not. Write the answer in the comment box. And if you find any difficulty, you must comment on it. Thank you. Thank you very much.